The AT-AT was first introduced in The Empire Strikes Back and had a brief appearance in Return of the Jedi. During the Battle of Hoth, General Maximilian Veers led a squadron of at least five walkers on the icy fields of Hoth to knock out the shield generator that protected Echo Base, the rebel headquarters. It was the successor of the all-terrain tactical enforcer that also saw use during the Clone Wars, although it constituted a far more imposing example of walker technology. The all-terrain armored transport was a four-legged combat walker used by the ground forces of the Galactic Empire, and the First Order. Developed during the Clone Wars, the heavily armored and awe-inducing walker positioned itself as the standard of Imperial firepower on the battlefield. With the Imperial-class Star Destroyer, Storm Troopers and the TIE Fighter, it was one of the most famous symbols of the Empire's military might. The AT-AT formidable offensive capabilities were supplied by dual, chin-mounted fire-linked heavy laser cannons for slower, more cumbersome targets. It is also equipped with two fire-linked medium-repeating blasters mounted on each side of the head designed for lighter, agile targets. At the rear and connected to the drive motors were the walker's three fuel slug tanks that powered the massive machine. The walker's legs were supported by massive Dura-Steel footpads with impulse terrain sensors, supplemented by toe flaps, that could crush obstacles in its path with little effort. The walker can unload its troops by kneeling to 3 meters above ground level until the boarding ramp could extend outward. Individual storm troopers could also be deployed rapidly by repelling cable. The walker was a behemoth of a war machine, standing at a height of 22.5 meters and 25.9 meters in length. Below the troop body section were two immense compact fusion drive systems that, in conjunction with the walker's four giant heavily reinforced legs propelled the walker forward at a top speed of 60 km per hour. Let's take a closer look inside the walker. The command head was attached to the trapezoidal armed body section by a flexible armored tunnel, allowing cockpit access from the rest of the machine. Serving as the head of the mechanical walker was a movable command section containing the command cockpit, with room for the commander, pilot and gunner. The command section housed all of the walker's weapon systems, as well as holographic targeting systems allowing the gunners a 360-degree view of their position. The cockpit was also equipped with a holoprojector for purposes of external communication. Forward visualization was supplied by a glowing red command viewport. The head could rotate as much as 90 degrees right or left and 30 degrees up or down for an expansive field of fire. The AT-AT troop section could typically carry five speeder bikes, up to 40 troops normally comprising Imperial Storm Troopers or Imperial Land Assault Troopers. The walker also had a backpack charger troop bench used to power up the Imperial Storm Troopers before battle. Toward the rear also included atmospheric exchangers and a filtration unit to regulate the interior living conditions. In addition, it also carries a fuel pump and fuel cell to transfers liquid from the fuel tank to drive motor. The ATAT could also variably hold two all-terrain scout transports in lieu of soldiers in a rear vehicle bay, though they required partial disassembly to fit inside. The rear panel also housed the troop staging area. Positioned above and below the command section was the walker's sensor array and blaster cannon energizer. The most vulnerable part of the walker was its flexible neck, which was susceptible to lighter blaster barrages. If punctured, it can lead to a reactor breach. The legs were also somewhat unstable and could be tripped due to a high center of gravity, leaving the walker defenseless. 
The all-terrain armored transport walker, also known as the Imperial Walker, was a major part of the Galactic Empire's motor pool. Carrying a vast amount of fire power and being heavily armored, the ATAT was arguably the most feared and effective land vehicle in the Imperial Army, and enjoyed a long lifespan, from the Clone Wars to the Second Imperial Civil War, over 150 years later. The quadrupedal walker closely resembled ancient beasts of war, or even a giant legendary beast from the dark side of the Force. Designed for the dual purpose of crushing and demoralizing enemy forces, and also serving as a transport for Imperial troops and light vehicles, the ATAT was among the most astonishing vehicles in the Imperial Army's inventory. So, what is your opinion on the Imperial Walker? If you have any suggestions or request, leave your comments below. Like and subscribe for more upcoming animations.